to summarize several different previous episodes that I've shared with you, there are four questions that you really need to make sure you ask sizing and selecting servos and stepper motors. I'm Corey Foster of Valen Corporation. If you have any questions, you want to discuss this at all, reach out to us at this email address or website here. We're always happy to help. What peak speed do you need from the motor? This goes back to episodes 44 and 45 about speed torque curves at the motion control show, but you need to know what speed you want to get out of your motor. What peak torque do you need from your motor? The caveats here are what speed do you need that at and for how long, because that may not be your peak speed, but you may need your peak torque at some lower speed than your maximum speed. How much inertia is reflected back to the motor? This is a recent episode, 69, that I did about inertia and inertia ratios that you can look at and refer to. And then the last one, again, goes back to the speed torque curves, is what AC or DC voltage do you have available to power the drive? Because this is going to dictate whether or not you can reach the speed or not that you're wanting to get out of it. So don't forget, four questions that you were wanting to ask. I'm Corey Foster of Valen Corporation. Reach out to us here. We're always happy to help.